Hi and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk about a contemporary take of a classic painting. Let me take you back about 358 years to the year 1665 in Europe. On that year, the English king Charles II decided to declare war on the Netherlands. It was a horrific year of wars and bloodshed, and in fact thousands of people in London were dying from the Great Plague. On that year in the Netherlands, there was a painter by the name of Johan Vermeer, who was working on a painting that was called Girl with a Pearl Earring. And today I want to talk to you about my contemporary take on that painting. So let's start. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and liking this video. The truth is that nobody really knows who the young girl in the painting was. There are many speculations about who she was. Maybe she was his maid, maybe someone he didn't know. No one really knows. She was dressed with an exotic turban and posed with her face turned and gazes at the viewer. I was always fascinated by this painting and often imagined her in different poses in her daily life. I wanted to think of her as an artist, a painter, painting her self-portrait while she is in her own studio. I started with many sketches of various ideas until I arrived at what I wanted. So I sketched the idea and started to explore the colors I want. We will talk about some of the techniques I used in this painting later in this video. In his painting, Vermeer chose a very earthy palette of colors. A simple palette. Ochre colored jacket, ultramarine blue for the head of the turban, and thick impasto layer for the face. The painting itself was done with many areas painted in thin green glaze. In my painting, I decided to have the green and ochre colors as the main colors. Of course, I maintained the ultramarine blue for the head of the turban. I imagined a yellow ochre dress and green long jacket. In her studio, I saw books and a small window at the top, an easel that is attached to her desk. I was looking for a dark green color. I created it using a combination of black and yellow ochre. The preliminary sketch is done with a pencil and I tried to have it as clean as possible, although I never constrict myself to the sketch. I always allow myself the freedom to change many things while painting. Most of the time when I'm painting, I paint the background before the characters. It is a good practice because it helps judge the appropriate values and colors relative to the background, which helps harmonize the entire painting. In the original painting of Vermeer, she gazes at the viewer. However, in my painting, I wanted to describe the relationship between her as a painter and her own self-portrait. While you're watching me paint the background, I want to share with you a few interesting facts about the original painting. Although Vermeer was often in dire financial straits and had a large family to support, the ultramarine toned paint he used for the girl's bright blue turban was expensive. It came from a powder of crushed lapis lazuli. It is a rare semi-precious stone. Not only did the paint possess a unique luminescence, it also added to the material value of the artwork. Another interesting fact is that while girl with a pearl earring is a priceless masterpiece today. The only time anyone purchased it for money was in 1881. 
and the winning bid was just two guilders, plus a nominal commission. It amounted to less than $30 in today's economy. Another rather famous fact is that in 1999, author Tracy Chevalier published an historical novel based on the painting. Hollywood made the novel into a film, Girl with a Pearl Earring, in 2003. Coming back to my painting, trying to describe the face of the girl painter, I decided to illuminate the face from a strong light that comes from the upper window. The reddish parts of her face are a bit accentuated and helps to emphasize her youth. What is actually the color of her hair is not really known. However, as I lived myself in the Netherlands for 13 years and seeing the dominant women's hair color, I decided to paint her with blonde hair. While she is painting, she wears a smaller pearl earring. One of the challenges that I encountered in my painting is to bring the focus to the characters. A possible technique to achieve that is to increase the chroma of the characters while decreasing the chroma in the background. It is also important to lower the value of the background relative to the characters. Another important technique I used in my painting is the use of glazing. In short, Glazing is the use of transparent color in layers of the painting. This technique was used by almost all the classical masters in the Renaissance and Baroque period. The main, but not only, use of it is to darken areas in the painting while shifting the colors gently using the transparent colors. It is important to maintain the balance between the light and the shadows in the painting as well. Painting the clothes of the main character is yet another item to pay attention to. Painting garments is quite a challenge by itself and requires delicate work of light and shadow as well as texture. Be careful not to overemphasize the details and try to harmonize the values and colors of the garment with the colors and values of the character. The use of impasto can help, but again, try not to overdo it. Of course, everything I'm suggesting here depends on your own style of painting and your artistic taste. Well, my painting is not finished yet, but I promise to publish another video when the painting is done. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment with your thoughts or if you have any questions. See you in the next video.